Okay, so here's a great educational moment, even though I hate the, hate the fact that it, it appeared. <laughs> and that is, here's some swarm cells. If you're wondering what they look like, uh, they really, they kind of look like peanuts on the bottom of a, um, on the bottom of a frame. Now, here's the thing, is that there's, uh, I found a couple that are sealed. And so you have to kind of, be a bit careful because it's always possible that if you're finding a bunch of sealed swarm cells, even if you're seeing eggs still, eggs take three days to hatch. So they may have already uh, swarmed and by you destroying the swarm cells, you might be uh, destroying their chance to raise a queen. So you kind of have to play it by ear. Uh, for me, I mean, this was a hive, interestingly enough, that we marked as weak a couple of weeks ago, uh, just too weak to split. But now with the flow going on, everything else, they have blown up and we got some swarm cells. So just something to keep an eye open and uh, once again, get a good, uh, good view of what they look like. I just want to reiterate again that uh, if you're trying to keep your bees from swarming, uh, actually, a couple of things come to mind and today was just insane. I was going to take a video, but it's just been... Our, our bees are working us hard, and the reason they're working us hard is because they look so good. And so what a what a wonderful challenge, right? Um, anyways, mine went blank here on what I was gonna, on the, uh, so if you're trying to keep your bees from swarming and you find swarm cells, that is cells that kind of like what, what you saw there, or uh, a cell that's similar to that, that has an egg in it, a really key thing to know, Hang on, there's a bee going up my leg here. A key thing to know is that when bees start a swarm cell, they will, uh, they'll finish it. Still trying to get this, there he is. They'll finish it. So that's why it's really important that every frame, if you find them in your hive, your colony, you shake every frame out and look through the entire frame for started swarm cells or even queen cups that you know, if they've started swarm cells, even queen cups that you see, I would make a point of destroying those. And then second to that is um, go through your brood chambers and make sure that she has room to lay. Look up a, uh, a methodology called checkerboarding, which is just introducing either frames with foundation or ideally actually drawn out frames. Uh, so if you have, let's say, five frames of brood, you'd put two or three frames. I would probably put two, two frames in the middle of those five frames, kind of checkerboarded, so that the queen has new space to lay. That takes off some of the pressure to uh, for them to swarm. But it's a key, a perfect time to make increase to increase your colonies if you're wanting to do that. And anyways, we'll, we'll do a video a little more detailed, but uh, just wanted to share those last two things with you. Catch you a little later.